hello everyone this is Satya Prakash welcome to my channel in this video I'll show you what are the steps to show and hide the div by click on the radio button in angular so guys before going through this video please visit my uh, previous video that is how to create a angular custom pipe and transform long URL to short URL and also some uh, related videos that is how to create a basic angular applications and uh, under its related components so you'll get some basic ideas on it and you'll get all these videos on real-time examples uh, using angular and it will be helpful for your real-time projects as well so you'll get all these videos uh, as well as for basic and advanced uh, videos in my playlist called angular application so guys in this video we'll discuss few points that is hide and show html div on radio buttons click in angular application with the help of ng model directive and how to implement bootstrap toast component in angular so guys so to show or hide the div in angular using a radio button there is one approach or directive you use in angular that is ng model directive also we we'll learn about the bootstrap toast component implementation in angular it is a template driven approach to create the radio buttons and bind the div to the radio buttons and hide and show after selecting okay so guys here i have mentioned uh, the steps so step one is we need to import forms model okay in app model that is in src app app.model.ts file so guys here I, this is my project angular project this application i have used all the my all the videos okay so this is the application that is called web api angular this is the my pro angular project name and whatever the implementation i have done using this project so uh, step as for the step one is we need to import so this is the file app.model.ts file okay we need to import the forms model or forms model okay this one so so in order to work with the angular forms and r in imports ra section here so once we import that forms model okay using this package this is nothing but the library angular slash forms and after then we need to add inside the imports array section that is this one okay so this is all about the uh, uh, step one okay and step two is you need to update the html template in this path src slash app slash app dot component dot html file so for that i'll go to my project okay and open the app dot component dot html file so here i'll show you the whole code here so guys here we define the radio buttons and add the ng model directive passed to pass the value to it so and similarly define the checked state and values so there are four divs we are initially hidden and get into the visible state on radio button click so this is the file app.component.html file okay and uh, here I'll, I'll show you its code one by one so here i have first of all i have used ng model directive is implemented with the radio buttons so nothing more this is the input types okay this is the radio buttons i have used and here i have implemented that uh, ng model directive okay that's it this is one radio button and uh, for Satya Prakash and one radio button is showing Kulu so this is the ng model directive I have implemented on the radio button part okay and type is radio button okay so after then there are four normal divs so or hide there is I defined here that is the div it is used for so and hide that is uh, it will show once the user click on radio button a Satya Satya Prakash so in the div it will show the Satya Prakash here and as well as when the user click on this radio button kulu so in the div section it will show the kulu okay and there is a bootstrap component we have used here that is the uh, like this one okay so this is one section for bootstrap and another section for another message it will show so based on selection of the radio button satya prakash so bootstrap also show the message with the like a pop-up and it will show you selected Satya Prakash similar way on selection of Kulu radio button it will show the toast um, pop-up like bootstrap that is you selected Kulu here okay so I'll show the whole code that is the 
deep section I have used and this is the card uh, this is the we have used the bootstrap class okay card bg hyphen warning test white and div class is card body and the s2 tag I have used and this is this is for uh, the radio button and this is the div sections okay based on selection of uh, radio button to show the message and after then the div section has closed and the next div section is for bootstrap component and that uh, the scroll uh, right and so that you can see the whole code okay and you can see this uh, star ng if I have used sh equal to equal to one once you uh, put the conditions so based on condition it will show this message okay you select it the purpose same way we have used the uh, toast so nothing but the bootstrap class uh, to implement the toast component so here I have used ng if sh equal to equal to zero so this is the radio button uh, conditions based on radio button condition you can see the output that is you selected Kulu here so this is the deep sections so guys also this same ng if uh, you can see star ng if I have used for a uh, normal div selection that is uh, this is the class of bootstrap and this is the star ng if sh1 that means set the focus and uh, sh equal to equal to zero star for star ng if it will show this cool loop based on selection of radio button okay and you can see this check uh, we have used uh, in the radio button okay and is checked and that is one uh, not is checked so that at a time the radio button will be selected as one radio button at a time so that we have used these things just check uh, options here property here so this is the uh, bootstrap uh, this is the upload component.html file okay again i'll just uh, uh, show you the whole code okay so going scroll right and then scroll down so all about this code uh, upload component.html file so guys the next step is we need to update the typescript template in src app upload component.ts file so i'll go to upload component.ts file okay and here is the code here we set the each checked variable with false value make sure to define another variable by the name of sh in angular typescript component so this is the code okay and uh, this is the component as well this is the de uh, default and this is the component section we have used the selector app root template url and the, this is the css part and here in apps ex export class app component we have use one check each check property that is a boolean means a false okay as i told you uh, make the variable with false value and uh, we have make sure to define another variable by the name of sh in uh, angular typescript component that is the uh, type is any and the con constructor is initialized here there is not required any uh, write written code so this is the code of app.component.ts file so guys next step is we need to add the bootstrap to make page responsive in index.html so we need to go uh, index.html uh, make sure you need to add these two cdn files for bootstrap css and bootstrap js to make the responsive design and uh, whatever the bootstrap classes we have used for bootstrap toast component and card body everything it will be reflected in your uh, angular page so this is all about the uh, four steps and uh, implementation part so next we will check the output so to check the output what i'll do is we need to go here my terminal and there i type here ng serve so guys here you can see my angular application is compiled successfully and i'm getting this url okay and copy this url and uh, go to my browser so here i'll uh, run this so guys here after the uh, this command ng serve to start the angular app server i'm able to uh, use my url and getting the output so this is the result is shown on first time page load i'm getting this uh, two radio buttons satyan one is a uh, kulu okay so what i'm showing i'll show you then we, we can perform the hide and show html div on radio button click in angular application with the help of ng model directive so guys here i'll show you first i'll check for satya prakash 
okay and you can see this is the normal div it is showing Satya Prakash and this is the toast component you can see on the right hand side you selected Satya Prakash okay and also it, you can just click on this bootstrap toast for component and it will be closed so same way it will check for Kulu radio button I am getting this div section with Kulu this is the normal div and I can I can see as well as the bootstrap component that is you selected Kulu so guys uh, in this way we can implement uh, so or die so or hide the deep component on a button click of a radio button in angular application with the help of ng model directive let's go to my presentation here so guys here what is ng model directive so the ng model directive binds the value of html control that is input select test area to application data so with the ng model directive we can bind the value of an input field to a variable created in the angular so the binding goes in both ways if the user changes the value inside the input field the angular property will also change its value so the ng model directive is not part of angular core library it is a part of forms model library we need to import the forms model package into our angular model so if you want to create a form in angular app then we need to import the forms model from at the rate angular slash forms library in your app.model.ts file so guys uh, that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day